Our planet is incredibly beautiful, isn't it? Not that it's any surprise with billions of species roaming the Earth. From microbes to baobab trees, all the way up to blue whales. And it's all interconnected. Like dragonflies with 28,000 lenses per eye. Or peacocks with microscopic crystals tinting their feathers. And even the insects they eat and every other part of their habitats too. So what if all that variety disappeared? It wouldn't be so great, and it might not be that far off. Extinctions are rising faster than ever before. The difference? Us, humans. Since we came along, species have been dropping out a hundred times faster than the natural rate. And get this, biodiversity, that's the assortment of life on Earth, is super important for maintaining the health of our environment, not to mention our food supply and our economy, like the bees that pollinate our crops, or the forests that clean the air and filter our water. Penicillin? You can thank a fungus for that. And biodiversity deserves some credit for all the likes your vacation photos have been racking up. Pretty much everything is balancing on, well, everything else. Like mangroves, they're a birthing ground for parrotfish, and those little guys grow up to clean algae off coral reefs. Without them, reefs would suffocate, and fish would stop gathering. And then sharks and dolphins, even fishermen, would have to find other places to hunt. Plus, mangroves and reefs also protect us from big storms like hurricanes and tsunamis. And that's just one habitat. Each one of those supports the greater global ecosystem, Remove just one piece of that puzzle and the entire thing becomes vulnerable. Pull too many pieces, it could all crumble. That's what biodiversity really means. But it's not too late. We can slow the extinctions and save the planet. If we protect our wild ecosystems and change our habits to help restore the lands we've already degraded, which is no small task, it means changing how we approach infrastructure, the ways we farm, and even the behaviors our economies reward around the world. No biggie though, we've landed robots on Mars. We got this, if we can agree to prioritize it. Because it's gonna take bold public leadership and private investment. But this is a goal we can all get behind, right? Because we're a part of this biodiversity thing too. And preserving all that means preserving ourselves.